Yeah, I think it's probably a handful of things. Um, you know, probably some structure, um, some details. I mean, it's not just you know our our D men. It's it's working as a five man unit and um, in all three zones to to limit the looks that they get. So I think we've done a, a tremendous job uh, the whole preseason. And, um, obviously, that's going to be something that we have to make one of our staples if if we're going to win a lot of hockey games this year. So um, obviously, good to see now, but. Uh, we all know that uh, next Wednesday is when it counts. How about the way the group played, in particular in the third period, protecting the lead? Felt like they never really had a chance to get back. Yeah, that was uh, something that we talked about in the room. Um, you know, obviously, good teams are are able to close games out like that, and um, you know, it's, it's a little bit of hockey sense, a little bit of game management, and I think obviously we've struggled with that with that in the past. So uh, to see that tonight, kind of last game heading into the, to the regular season, was good. Uh, it just, I mean, same as everyone, you know, it's game, game time that's useful uh, this time of year. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm trying to get some looks and some game situations. Um, that first goal, kind of, you made the uh, the nice pass up the boards to uh, to start that play and, and get that going. Uh, what did what did it look like from your point of view? I I, I didn't do too much. I didn't think. Um, <laughs> I mean, that was pretty much my only option there. So uh, it was good communication uh, by the D-man to, to be yelling and let me know that he was over there. And um, he made a really nice one-touch pass up the wall there to try to catch him, and, and we ended up doing that. There was a lot of talk before the game about the start and you need to have strong starts. Nice to get a goal that early for all of you guys to settle into the game. Yeah, I think that's uh, something that we've talked about in the past and especially the uh, last couple of days here, um, just even in the preseason games. I, I thought... Our coaching staff thought that our, our starts could be better. So um, obviously when you get one on the first shot of the game, it's a nice little feeling for, for the guys. And, um, you know, you just try to build off of that. You mentioned structure. The penalty kill in particular, the structure seems different. Are you seeing fewer cross-seam passes, fewer side-to-side -side movement for you? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think we have a good good uh, penalty kill system in place where everything's real predictable, and I think that's um, so important for obviously myself, but but everyone on the rink. When when we all know what we're doing, it's a lot easier to play. So, um, you know, I kind of get to, to get to be able to predict kind of what my looks might be, and um, obviously that helps. Yeah, I just thought the depth, um, like all four lines were, you know, I thought played well. The we went down to five. I thought they really managed the game well. Um, got some good efforts from a lot of guys in different lines. Thought we checked pretty well in the neutral zone. You mentioned going down to five defensemen. Do you have an update <clears throat> on Susie? Yeah, I haven't talked to the doctors yet. Uh, I'm not sure how, you know, I don't think it's that bad, but, you know, we'll, we'll, I'll see what's going on. In the past, this has been a team that would get leads and not be able to protect them. <clears throat> Were you pleased with how quiet and how calm the third period seemed in that regard? Yeah, game management. You know, uh, just take what's given. You know, we talked about, you know, not, we don't want to, you know, you don't want to go, you know, one, four and back off. I, I'm not talking about, but it's just game management, you know, little things, you know, you've been out there for 40 seconds, you got nothing, you got to get a deep in the past. Maybe we toe drag a guy or try something different. So I felt the game management was really good and that's what we have to continue. Was there anything in particular you were looking to see tonight? Did you learn anything extra about your team going into Wednesday? Just chemistry with the four lines. Um, I thought I thought we were really good with our sticks. I thought Suter and, and Teddy um, really had a lot of smart hockey out there, you know, knowing to be over top guys at the right time. When Calgary makes a push, I thought they did a nice job of just making that little subtle play. So I learned a, that we knew, we knew about those guys doing that. But I thought the chemistry on the lines were pretty good. You know, I thought the most guys were were pretty good tonight. Just you mentioned the neutral zone. What what makes it effective when you guys are on there? <clears throat> well, I, I hate. I should say hate. I don't like when we skate backwards and defend. You have to skate forward to defend, and I think we get in trouble. You'll see is when we have to th you know two forwards skating backwards. That's when you get in trouble. You have to skate forward to defend in this league. Surf up you know, fish hooks, whatever you want to call it. And I think when we do that, um, you know, I think we're we're good in that neutral lens. It's, it's, it's when we back up and we backward skate. That's when teams kind of, they skill their way through us. Uh, so that's what I'd like to see is more of that, you know, getting up in their face, surfing, and just skating forward. It's okay to defend skating forward. Yeah, taking space away, uh, you know. 
If you're, and if you're late and you're backward skating, then you're really in trouble. Um, when you talk about uh, about chemistry and the lines, we've talked about like the Miller line being the big matchup line, and uh, now you've got Phil DiGiuseppe, yeah. you know, right up there with two more points again tonight, and really sort of seizing the moment. How how happy have you been with what he's shown this last couple of weeks? Yeah, um, Deej is the type of guy. He's, he's a survivor. He just keeps on, you know, every he, every day, every day comes a rink. He's trying to learn and. Even at 20, or is he 28 or 20, or whatever he is, he just keeps on grinding. Um, patience, too. You know, that's what he's working on now. You know, knowing that he's playing with, uh, you know, a couple offensive players. If he gets it, you don't always have to throw it in. Now he's working on his part of his game. Um, but also having, like, Teddy and, and Suter out there, not have to overplay Millsy in, in our own end and stuff like that really helps. Gives them more juice on the offensive side. And I guess uh, penalties were not as much of an issue tonight, but uh, PK yeah. is looking probably yeah. where you want it to be. Yeah, we got some, you know, we got seven or eight guys that can PK for us. That's that's huge. Um, that's one positive out of the camp we've had so far. You know, knock on wood, we got to keep this penalty kill going. I, I like the attitude and I like the structure of it. Mike Yo is doing a nice job, um, you know, teaching what we want. Um, so, hey, listen. You know, you got to try certain things in preseason, but I think the penalty kill's done a nice job. Rick, uh, what were your first impressions of playing a pair of Hughes yeah. and Heronic together, at least until the third, when you had to put things in a blender? A bit? <laughs> well, a lot of patience. Like, you know, obviously, those two together, pretty smooth. You know, Huggy and uh, a lot of possession time. You know, when you play, as a forward, when you you have those two guys back there, you know you're going to get you're going to get the pass on an outlet pass, or you're going to get something in the offensive zone, whether it's a shot pass or some kind of play um you know they're good together um do we keep together that's the big question you know we gotta we'll see how it shapes out but obviously those two tight do those two guys together really help out <laughs> the offensive side for forwards they get they get pucks in great situations you mentioned that uh guillaume breezeblow was a little bit banged up do you have any further update? Uh, you know, I don't want to ask you for a timeline and hold you to it or anything. But do you have any further update on? I I haven't. Um, to be honest, with you no. Know, um, you know, he got hit there at the end by Tan, if I remember. Uh, so it's. Um, I, I I I hate to say it's dated. I don't know. Um, but um, we'll see. I, you know, I honestly don't know. What did you think of? Noah Juleson tonight, you gave him an opportunity to go in. It seemed like he had a physical presence in the game, at the very least, and, and distributed the puck pretty well. Yeah, what I like about Noah, like, I thought he struggled early, and then he got that big hit, and then he just settled in. I thought he did it right. I like, you know, guys, you know, sometimes you're going to have a tough start or a couple of shifts don't go your way, um, and you bounce back. I thought he really had a really good second and third. You know, I think he struggled early, and, you know, he, didn't, he hasn't played in a while. Uh, you know, it's been a long training camp he hasn't played some exhibition games but I thought uh, he really settled in especially at the 5d we, we managed the game really well but he did a nice job with uh, D Giuseppe and Blue Jr. are both kind of more defensive players yeah. they get in alone and they have that finish at the net is that something that's nice to have yeah. that you know that there's that your depth can have some nice touch around the net it's huge. I mean, if you can get your bottom six to score some goals it's it's just it's huge right uh, or at least you know, I said, like, if your bottom six is not scoring, you got to play neutral. You can't be scored against. And uh, those guys aren't getting scored against, and they're scoring. I mean, that's the plus. But, yeah. How, and, you know, it gives them confidence, too. You know, Deej has a little bit of confidence now, you know. And, and Teddy scoring. I think he had a couple of chances in this camp. It loosens you up. Um, but, um, yeah, it's nice to see those guys score. And they, they deserve it because they're playing, they're playing hard for us. You've tried a number of wingers with Pedersen and Kuzmenko. Garland gets a try this this game. What did you think about his play on that top line? And do you think you have found the right solution for who's going to play with them on opening night? Well, we're still moving people around. I, I thought Petey was really good tonight. Um, Kuzi's dealing with some. He didn't feel. He hasn't felt good the last couple of games. So I, you know, he Kuzi wasn't himself the last few games, uh, last few days. So I don't think he was that good. And in the sense, I think he was kind of sick. Um, and Gars, um, I thought he tried, but I thought Petey really pulled that line together. Uh, I thought he was really good tonight. Now we're through with the preseason and camp. I know you have some more practices before yeah. the games count, but do you feel like you accomplished what you wanted to over the course of you know <clears throat> where we've been to to this point? 
Uh, yeah. Um, there's, we're always learning. Game management is something that we still got to continue to press. Um, our staples, I, I really, we really, you know, we really did a lot of video today uh, or yesterday and today about getting in front of people. And I thought it's probably the best this so far where we got in front of people and our breakouts were better. And um, it works if we do it. It's hard. It's hard work. It's hard to skate that extra two feet to get in front of somebody. It's hard to do these things, but it's hard to win, right? So, you know, you can't do it every once in a while. That's the key. Can we do it consistently? And, you know, we're going to have to play this way. We got Edmonton back the, uh, two games in a row. And we're going to have to play a certain style against that team where we're in their face and get in front of them because, you know, McDavid, you know, he's lighting it up already in preseason. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any utility from your perspective to getting that win before sort of the weekend and, and before you get into the game that counts next yeah, Wednesday? Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, for sure. I mean, l listen, we needed a, a good solid effort to win. Yeah, of course, you know. It, People look at the record preseason. If you you know you lose this game, it's like oh here we go. But I think it makes guys relax a little bit. But it's also makes it what we're preaching. It works if you do the right thing. It's a preseason game. You know, um, you know Calgary's a good hockey club, um, and it was one of those games where you can get a little bit of confidence. I wouldn't be. We're not ordering the rings or anything because we want a preseason game. But I will say that I will say that we we liked our effort. Now we have to work on it again the next day.